if you want to start your own private NFT collection, watch this video. It's important to know a few fundamentals which we'll go through in this video. In order to create a truly amazing and lovely NFT project, you need to find out the following things before starting your project. Welcome to Altcoin Bull, the most popular crypto educational channel on YouTube. You need to decide how large an NFT collection you wish to build. How many NFTs do you want to create? For example, 10,000 NFTs or only 100 NFTs. Both of these choices have advantages. If you're successful in selling all of your NFTs, you'll make a lot more money than if you just sell 100. Another factor to consider is that you may be responsible for additional expenditures and expenses. With a large number of NFTs, you can still keep the price low, enough to attract consumers and yet pay the cost of building and profiting from the sale. This is a little trickier with a smaller NFT collection since you need to charge more for these invoices. The higher cost of these NFTs may make it more difficult to sell them as they may not attract as many buyers. However, if you keep your collection modest, each NFT may become more valuable. For example, only sell 90 NFTs when they are released so that when the price rises, you have these final 10 NFTs to trade for cash. Also, if you decide to create a smaller NFT collection, it may be simpler to manage everything since you won't need this code because you'll be able to sketch everything manually because you can just upload all 100 NFTs there. If you're launching it on the Ethereum blockchain, you may sell it on OpenSea. You do not need to set up your own minting website. Another item to consider before getting started is the answer to the issue of which blockchain you want to build NFT on. This might have a significant influence on the overall success of your NFT collection. Ethereum is the most widely utilized blockchain for these NFTs. However, several blockchains exist such as Solana and Cardano. As I have stated, picking the appropriate blockchain is critical because there are a few things to consider. Gas costs are essentially the fees that must be paid to mint an NFT into the blockchain. And these gas prices must be funded by either the buyer or seller of the NFT. On the OpenSea marketplace, the buyer pays the gas expenses in addition to the purchase price. It's critical to note that the gas prices for minting your NFT on the Ethereum network are exorbitantly expensive. They fluctuate, but they may be in the hundreds of dollars. This means that if you sell an NFT for $50, the buyer may end up paying $150 due to gas expenses, which is unpleasant for the buyer and people to pay such high gas prices, especially if your product has little value. Because of the high gas prices, no one will buy it. The creators of Ethereum are now working on Ethereum 2, which will have much cheaper gas expenses. However, this may take some time. Fortunately, there are some alternative blockchains where you may reference NFT, such as Cardano and Solana. And Solana is a very popular option to Ethereum, with very large projects choosing between the two. The positive thing about Solana is that gas prices are almost non-existent. This would mean the buyer will not have to spend as much as they would if they were minting an NFT on the Ethereum network. So rather than Ethereum, I would definitely suggest Solana blockchain technology for future NFT projects because it just draws more buyers and is far more convenient. Despite the fact that Ethereum is the most popular cryptocurrency for these NFTs and has larger exchanges such as OpenSea, it's arguably the biggest of them all. But Solana also boasts a few other popular markets. SolSea and Solanart are two examples. So there isn't much of a problem with secondary marketplaces because it works perfectly with Solana. Because of Solana, transaction costs are even lower than on these other market platforms. If you've decided on the size of the collection and the blockchain, another crucial issue to consider is the marketing component of your NFT collection. This component varies from collection to collection, but it's critical to understand how to conduct this marketing. All that is required is a basic comprehension of what marketing is all about. 
there are two major categories from which to choose. 1. Advertise your NFT collection before introducing it and create some buzz around it. 2. While you're already selling NFT, market your NFT collection. If you have a tiny NFT collection and don't have much money to spend on marketing and other expenses, I'd advise selling your NFTs directly and promoting them as soon as possible while they're on sale because their customers can buy them straight away when they see the NFTs. The Crappy Punks, an NFT collection, is a wonderful example of this type of marketing because they sell their NFTs while they are listed on OpenSea. As you can see, all of these sold postings are quite popular. If you have a larger NFT collection and a larger budget, you can make it appear more professional. You have the option of first creating buzz around your NFT collection. The majority of projects achieve this by holding giveaways across all of their social media channels. And by doing so, they earn new members, followers, and potential buyers. As a result, your collection will already be visible. In addition, you'll most likely be able to sell the majority of your NFTs on the day of release. This will generate some momentum and the sold NFTs from this hype collection will most likely appreciate in value more than those sold over a long period of time and one by one. However, you should be aware that creating any buzz around your collection is still difficult. It does, at least in the beginning. Also, in order to market your NFTs, you'll need an idea and a roadmap because nowadays, NFTs are more about the many benefits that come with having one of these NFTs than they are about the art. Obviously, those objects may be anything. The NFT can be used as a ticket to parties or as a way to stake some tokens. The second way is employed by the CyberCon project, which allows some of these distinct Kongs to stake tokens that may later be converted into money. You may make anything for your collection, but make sure it's something like that since it'll draw customers again, and it will ensure that your NFTs have more worth than simply the art. The last point I'd want to make is about time. The production, promotion, and launch of the NFT collection will most likely take longer than you anticipate because you'll constantly run into obstacles and things won't turn out the way you intended. Simply make the most of your time and push through these moments since your hard work will pay off in the form of a fantastic NFT project. Once again, this is the Altcoin Bull Channel bringing you the best and most updated news and trends in the crypto world. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you and see you in the next one.